the game. It's a red skin. welcome and welcome back to my channel we are just gonna go straight into this video I will be using this free tress hair which is in the color 4 this is the water wave and it is the 22 inches I will also be using Jamaican twist braid which is also in the color 4 and so basically before my clients get here I like to go in and separate out all the hair I used about four packs of the free tress hair so to separate it I just split it in half and sometimes it gets a little tangled at the bottom because it's, the hair is long the longer the hair is the more tangled it gets so you just gotta like try to detangle with your hand you can also use a wide tooth comb whichever works for you but just make sure the hair is separated like so how you see it here this is very important the hair needs to be separated and I will also be using my crochet latch, of course, this is a crochet needle, and I'll be going in with my Evolving Texture O-Gel, that was a tongue twister, Evolving Texture O-Gel, and at the end, you will see me going in with this product, this is just mousse that I put in the hair to give it that shine. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that I will be using the Spring Twist Hair, and I used about maybe less than half a pack of this. So let's just get straight into this video. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be, y'all, let me tell you, I've been trying to figure out how to do these distress locks and I feel like I finally cracked the code, man. I finally got the Krabby Patty secret recipe. That's what it feels like because y'all know it's been hard trying to figure this out. But I've been doing my research and basically what I'm doing right now is just putting her natural hair in plaits. Nothing, nothing abnormal. It's pretty easy. I braid a little bit and then I twist the rest. And then this part right here, instead of just braiding her natural hair, I went in with the Molly hair, which just made it a lot faster. Y'all, I finished this hair in like less than six hours, about five and a half hours. And I feel like what the method I'm using just goes a lot quicker. So instead of just braiding her natural hair, I go in with the Marley hair. So if you don't know how to add hair, I would recommend just doing her natural hair. But if you know how to add hair, just go in with the Marley hair. It's the same thing and you're just saving yourself a lot of time. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of her hair. So about an hour later, I am done, and at the front, I, I went ahead and did like knotless, so it's just easy to move around, but honestly, it's not necessary, that's not necessary. And I'm going to show you guys how I do this, so if you went ahead and did it with her natural hair and not with the Marley hair, you're going to obviously go in and crochet the Marley hair, and then take your free tress. Wrap it around three times at the root of her hair, very tight. Not tight enough that it's like hurting her, but tight enough that it does not come out. And then you go ahead and wrap it around lightly. Right now it's kind of tight, but later on when I do get the hang of it, I go in lightly. Like just wrapping it around, not too tight, just very loose. Because we're going to go back with the spring twist hair and wrap that tight. So... Right now, it does not need to be tight. You gotta make sure you leave enough hair to seal the ends. So to seal the ends, what I like to do is I'll fold that Marley hair in half, wrap it around it. The Marley hair blends in very nice. But that's why you got to make sure they're all the same color. It blends in very nice. So I wrap it around it and then I go back with the free tress hair. And at the end, you got to make sure it is tight. Don't do it loose or it's going to it's gonna like unravel. So tighten it and then go back and just wrap it around very tight. I'm going to make sure... I'm going to go back and 
show you guys how I do it very slow. It looks like I'm doing it pretty fast, but I'll slow it down for you guys. So right now, I'm using the spring twist hair, and I use half of a strand. So I take one strand, split it in half, and go back, and this time I wrap it around tight. This gives it that distress looks, or the butterfly looks. It depends how loose you do your free tress here you wrap your free tress here the looser you wrap it the more distressed it looks the tighter you wrap it the less distressed it looks that so that's up to your preference basically so just wrapping around the spring twist hair and I usually just use one string per lock and of course when I get to the end I wrap it around tight and when I get to the end I just wrap it back up I hope this makes sense I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna slow it down for you guys. Okay, once again, I take my free tress hair. This is one strand, guys. This is one strand. You can use more than one, but y'all, free tress hair is not cheap. I only use three packs. Using the Marley hair helps save, like, help me use less pack. And the Marley hair is less expensive. I believe altogether I spent like $50 on the hair. Anyways, back to the technique. So you wrap it three times tight, and then you go and wrap it around lightly, not too tight, all right? Loosely, I mean, that's the word I'm looking for, loosely, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. But you're wrapping it loosely, but keep in mind, you need to make sure her hair her natural hair is fully covered. Alright. So it does get a little tangled. But you just got to keep detangling as you go. So once that's done, I go in with my... Oh, this is how... I'm going to show you how I add hair. When you run out of hair, so I don't need to go back in and add like a full strand. So I cut that strand in half. And then I just go ahead and continue wrapping. So at the end, you see what I do? I fold it in half and just wrap that Marley hair around. You can also cut it if that's what you want, basically. You just got to keep playing with it, y'all. And then right here, I'm making sure it is tight so it does not go anywhere. It's not a game. It's a red skin. Some people like to go back and glue it you can glue it but honestly if you're wrapping it tight enough you don't necessarily have to go back but hey if you have trust issues man to each its own i'm just joking yeah put that glue on sis <laughs> So you see how I'm wrapping it like <laughs> really tight y'all you see I'm even tugging on it and it's not going anywhere so that was the free tress hair now I'm gonna go in with the spring twist hair you see me splitting it in half you can use one strand but honestly that's not needed Okay, now for a closer view, you see how the locks is starting to distress a little. And this one, it does not need to be close. You can like spread it out as you wrap. If you want it closer, that's fine. But it does not need to be close. Okay, I know what y'all thinking. Oh, but Harvester, this is a lot of work. This is too much going back and forth wrapping. Yes, no one said it was easy. Doing dreads is a process. This is why it's not cheap, y'all. But trust me, this took a lot. Like, this is a lot faster for me. You guys should try it. If it is faster, I recommend it. If you don't think it's faster, you can try a different method. But honestly, when you're wrapping the free tress hair, 
don't spend too much time on it. Like, it does not need to be perfect. Remember, this is the stress. The messier it looks, the better. So, it does not need to be perfect. And that's something I need to keep telling myself. Because I'm sort of like a perfectionist when it comes to braiding hair. But I got to remember, like, this is the stress locks. It's supposed to be messy, you know? It's not a game. Okay, so right now I'm just speeding up this pretty redundant so I just sped it up but I want to share with you guys a few um, information that I know you guys might ask me in the comments so how long did it take me this took me about five and five hours and 45 minutes as I said before my client got here I prepped the hair which was like separating the free trust hair and laying it all down this made it so much quicker the first time i attempted this style it took me almost eight hours so this is like this is like my fifth time doing the style and that's like a great progress so i do recommend prepping the hair before your client gets there um this is waist length this is considered waist length my client is a bit tall but this is waist length and how many packs did I use? I used two packs of the Marley hair and I used four packs of the Free Trust hair. Y'all, the Free Trust hair is not cheap. I know some people like to use just Free Trust, but I use the Marley hair because it's going to be covered first of all and it's cheaper. So the Marley hair, I believe, is, was like $5 a pack, so that's $10. And the Free Trust hair was like $7 a pack. So seven times four, what, 24? So that's $34 right there. And then the um, spring twist hair, I used half a pack. So a pack was $12, half a pack is $6. So in total, about $40 for this. That's a pretty good deal. Um, next question. How many locks in total? I believe in total I have 50, 50, from between 50 to 55 locks. I'm going to confirm with my client because I told myself I was going to count it and I forgot to count it. So I'm going to confirm with my client and let you guys know in the comment section or in the description box. These locks are very lightweight. You know how the full lock sometimes is like very heavy and it's tight? This is not tight, y'all. My client was literally able to put it in a bun right after and she told me how light it was literally she said after she left she went to the store and she got like a compliment and somebody took my number so honestly i'm in love with the style y'all i'm so happy with the turnout and i'm i'm quite jealous myself like i want to try this out i hope you guys try this out and you can try this out on yourself too y'all like save some money save money live better all right so can you wash them yes you can wash these locks you can wash them and they are not going anywhere this style can last you about two months or more and you know how locks are the longer they get the better they look the not the more natural they look so you can wash these style if you want to keep it in longer for the two months i do recommend a touch up and hopefully one day i will record how i do a touch up but yes this style is definitely worth it that's why people are charging an arm and a leg and i do understand because it's a process and it can last a very long time um i can't think of anything else but if you guys do have some questions about the style let me know and i'll try to answer all the questions so we are i'm basically done so just enjoy the rest of this video thank you guys so much if you got this far into this video please like comment and subscribe share with a friend i'm just so excited to share this with y'all because i've been practicing this technique i've been trying to figure it out for almost like the whole year and I actually did pay for a class. I paid a couple hundred dollars. Like, y'all, they be charging for these techniques. I paid a couple hundred dollars. And it still wasn't working out for me. And I've just been, like, using different, different techniques that I've been learning on YouTube. As well as the classes that I have taken. And I finally figured out a style, like, a technique that works for me. And I am in love with this. The turnout was great. It's not stiff. You know, some, some type of hair that you use. 
like I tried it with the spring twist hair it was a bit stiff for me and then the free twist hair was like the process was just too much it was too much but I feel like this one is very easy and please let me know how you what you guys think try it and let me know what you guys think if I do come up with a new technique I'll try to record it for y'all and I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe 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 I love y'all bye bye it's not a game. It's a